In Russia, there's been an explosion of neo-Nazi activity and violence in recent years. Immigrants and others who do not appear to be ethnic Russians say they often feel unsafe in public places. When a group of young guys shouting uh, racist slogans, they come uh, into the coach, look for some persons of non-Slavic appearance and start to beat uh, this person. Uh, sometimes it, it turns to, to death and uh, then they left the coach on the next stop. And usually they are not found at all. Hate crimes have been on the rise in Russia over the last five years by nearly 15% per year. Medium age of participants is growing. Several years ago, most of them were teenagers. Uh, now, these guys are more dangerous. They are more experienced in violence and they are more organized. The Putin administration and the new Medvedev administration has yet to take the problem seriously. There have been very few prosecutions in these cases. Violence was usually interpreted as hooliganism and was um, uh, usually uh, police officers said that uh, these people were just football fans. Though these violent acts have not been treated seriously in Russia, President Obama could raise the stakes when he visits Moscow in July. The, the relationship between the United States and Russia has been strained in recent years, although there is a new relationship emerging. When President Obama comes to Russia, uh, all Russian media will be very interested in anything but what uh, he would say. The first thing he needs to tell President Medvedev is that the U.S. is extremely concerned about the rise of violent hate crimes. It would be important that to show that this issue is, is not something marginal. That's the issue which uh, serious politicians discuss, that for relationships between countries. If the U.S. is to have a productive and healthy relationship with the Russian Federation on a whole range of security and economic issues, that relationship has to be built with a stable country that is on the path to democracy.